Seven Two Nation, welcome back to my Black Universe. Y'all seen this box a few times. You seen Jesus do it. You seen Floss do it. For me to do it. Now, the difference between me and Floss and GD, I'm a long term customer. I've been figures for quite some time as an active customer using their service. So, nice phone patty. You see what kit I got and make sure everything's in the screen. In fact, hold on, let me do something real quick. Add a little extra lighting. Still got the little figures booklet. <clears throat> Let's pop this open real quick. <clears throat> so he's good glue on this one. So this is a sim. So if you're using any service you're using, or so any uh, GSM phone you're using, you got the larger adapter, uh, the regular SIM, the micro, and the nano. You can pop out. And I'm going to need the nano mine. A little worn out from switching devices. Got a thank you card. Sweet together. Thanks so much for your purchase. We're proud to say that we have reported every resource to make sure your new device is perfect from the moment you receive it. Your satisfaction is our number one priority. Enjoy. Freddy Figures. That's what's up. We're going to do this, of course. Record a video of if, if they're unboxing on Instagram. So this video is going to go on Instagram as well. But you guys are going to get multiple videos from me. Because we got to talk about this. It's actually got a pretty nice, pretty nice weight on it. The smart wireless supercharger with this, uh, built in speaker, Bluetooth speaker. We got the car charger. We got the uh, light up wall charger. It's pretty compact. We got the F buds. You know, we got to compare these to the Raycons. And the yeah, there is a storm. Both of them was was hot in the streets. All right, phone bills. Tight fit. So let's uh real quick, let's get everything out the way and we adjust. All right, fam, we're back in. Taking wireless. That's a nice way to it. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thinking I was opening up some jewelry right here. Okay. Nice. Accessories. That's a dongle. All the cell phones. That's, that's, I think that's it right there. Okay, hold on. All right. Got your wired headphones, should I say? This one, it's probably a charging cable. Feels like it. Braided charging cable. Without the logos and everything you need on it. Alright, that's dope. Keep all that together. I'll try those headphones out in a long term view. Okay, no pain. No way it came out, man. There we go. 
see what's in the red box. Okay, it's a regular charging brick. Qualcomm Charge uh, 3.0. It's a nice brick with the orange interior. Figures insignia. Okay, that's it. Everything's just beauty boards. Put that back in. Large black box. Let's see what's popping with that one. I think it's going to be a, a case which will be super dope. Reserve case and sim injection tool. Gel skin case. Nothing fancy. Warranty certificate. We're going to fill that out. Thank you for choosing the figures after the products. We got a little booklet. Um, we'll keep this out. Last glass back phone I had from figures. I destroyed the back. Like the first week. <laughs> Part of the reason why I never redid that video. Like, God. Yeah, man. All right, real quick, man. We're, finna, we're gonna clean this area up again, and then we're gonna power this on and get right into it. All right, family, back in. There's even like a little frosted figures logo. Oh, this in blue. Nice. Did you hear that? It's got a nice, like I said, nice little way to it. Check out the back. Check out the buns. That's nice. That uh, that gradient, that chameleon color, like you know, say you riding on the block. Now, let me grab another phone real quick, show you the size comparison. If you decide you want to get one. Can't show you what it looks like against my one plus seven because I'm currently filming with it, but we do have an iPhone 7. This has a little slimline auto box case on it. Taller. Slightly wider. We're gonna do this real quick, just just my peace of mind. I'm gonna turn them phones, y'all. Y'all know about my Xiaomi Poco, Poco phone. In fact, if you don't know, let me show you real quick. I had a, I had a ring key case on that phone. Yeah, I got a new screen. Just gotta replace it. Take my time, but so I'm gonna put my information in real quick. We're gonna pull this up and let you guys see what's popping. All right, family, back in. So we're connected. Fingerprint sensor works, no problem. Didn't do the face unlock just yet, but I just want to show you what I got. And of course, that's me. Download all my information from my OnePlus 7. Of course, you see this is the F1. It's not clean at all, but you know, I said it was a beautiful phone, but this is what happened to it. The glass back, man. That was my fault. <laughs> that was my fault. But back to the new and hotness. So, um, I'm running the Nova Launcher. I'm accustomed to it. And so far, man, pretty dope. I'm use, uh, using, I integrated my uh, navigation tool. So, you know, we got home screen, multitask. All the features that you need. It's pretty bright for display. I, I'm not too fond of the screen. Um, not really what I like. Got a wireless update. Okay. Well, uh, we'll start it here in a moment. But so far, man, um, no serious lag, of course. If I'm correct, this is. Six gigs around. 
128 gigs of storage. I know that for sure. 128 gigs of storage, six gigs around, and I'm my OnePlus is eight gigs around, 256 gigs of storage. Now this is pretty quick. It's uh mine on par with my Xiaomi Poco phone. Uh, I think it's a little bit shorter than the, the Xiaomi. Uh, I won't pull that back out. The screen's trash. But so far, pretty good looking on screen, man. Um, I'm going to have to readjust this, you know, set up the way I like it. I like to have my camera up here, right here. I don't like having the play button, the play store button. Um, should say the app. It's sitting right there, especially when it's right here. It's redundant. In fact, let's take this off. But we can't really take it off. All right, cool. No problem. We'll, we'll adjust that. But so far, I'm digging this. Um, on the Wi-Fi, of course. And yeah, one of the Wi-Fi. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, really the oh man, I wish that would came in that color, the F the F buds. Oh, this out the way. What the other way? The F buds came in that bright blue, bruh. That now that's fire. I will most definitely get those, and that color white. Most definitely, that's something we're here to talk about. So, good feeling in the hand, doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't feel too light, it actually feels very premium. Um, I can reach across this phone a lot better than I can in OnePlus, so if you have smaller hands, um, this phone, ha you have no issues trying to stretch, you know, if I can do like that, you can kind of maneuver easier. In fact, let's take the case back off. Um, <laughs> I might regret that, but it is what it is. So... Oh, this is a fingerprint man. They're like crazy. Beautiful, but a fingerprint man. So, yeah, you can reach across, swipe to unlock, and do all that stuff in a pretty dope phone. But, you know, we're going to use this. We're going to put the figures um, card back in here. And I'm actually thinking about picking up another wireless company that's black owned and putting them through their paces, possibly through this phone, maybe through my OnePlus, and see what's popping with them. But yeah, so let me let me take a few minutes to talk about uh, my experience with figures, and then we'll close out this video. Hi, right, fam. So while we we're playing with the phone, let me just do my fingerprint. Got my games uploading. You know what I'm saying? I've uh, been a figures wireless customer for more than a year now, about a year and a half. And um, one thing I want to let you guys know that I've noticed as being a customer is uh, the customer service is great. I've rarely had an issue with figures as far as, oh, it's done it before one time. What's going on? Uh oh. Just let me know I'm not using, okay, you know, typical stuff. It's downloading 110 of 119 apps. But back to what I was saying, customer service is great. I, I, I enjoy it. I, I love the fact that you can get in touch with somebody on a Saturday. That's dope, because sometimes you have issues, you don't want to wait till Monday to fix it. Um, one thing I have noticed that um, if you are paying for the top of the line service and you're not seeing the network speed you're looking for, you're not seeing your LTE, then the issue is not figures. I'm just going to show me right back out. You know, it looked like poop. Um, my Poco phone, F1, when I was living in Oklahoma, okay, the figure's a little bit taller. Just a little bit. I got on skates, so no, it's not tall. It's about the same height. The issues I was having was in Oklahoma, I could get 4G LTE speeds. I could get 4G speeds. Let me correct that. And at times, even though it was say 4G, I wasn't getting true 4G speeds. I would get hiccups when I'm doing Marco Polo. I'm sending a text, or I'm trying to upload something, streaming music, things I like to do, and it would piss me off, and I was trying to figure out what was going on, because when I come to Texas, I would lose all those speeds. But when I came back to Texas to live again, I got frustrated and fed up with this, because I couldn't do what I, I need to do, because of the issues with the four speeds, and plus I had a crack on the screen uh, from working on my wife's car at the time, and I had the case on it, but... It is what it is. I pulled out this. 
This is the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. I bought this in early 2017. And um, I said, let me try something. Because the screen had cracked, the extra screen had stopped working on this one. I replaced the screen on this one. And I said, let me try something. So I switched SIM cards, put it in here, immediately got 4G LTE speeds. The remedy came, by the way, of this was a phone not meant for the US. So it's not banded for the US. It does have the uh, same type of bands as a phone that is dedicated to the US. So when I got my OnePlus 7 Pro, pulled it from here, put in the OnePlus 7 Pro, LTE speeds. Now, they're a little hiccupy, but it's, I don't think it's because of the service. My SIM card is worn out. It's, it's got a lot of contact issues. So if you're having contact issues, you are, um, you're having it open. So it's got great speed some days, and some days it doesn't. That's the issue, and it comes with a new one in here, so I'm just going to have to switch the, uh, I'm reading the, the barcode off of this one, switch it, pop it in, it's going to not give me any trouble. And so, um, it's, it's, uh, I'll be able to pop this in there as well, and we'll be able to get 4 GLT speeds. Now, I did want the 5G one, um, I missed the, the, the order time for that, the pre-order time for that, and it is what it is. Another thing I noticed is that with figures, they have a proprietary setup for their voicemail. So if you want to do voicemail outside of a figure's phone, you will not be able to dial into it like normal uh, and do the visual voicemail stuff like that. You would actually have to download a third-party developer's uh, voicemail, which I've, uh, I've done on all my phones outside of figures so I can get to my voicemail. Now, that is the one thing that I don't like. That's annoying. I just like to use a a third party, I wish they had like a third party app like Cricket does, just make it simple. Maybe they do on this phone, we'll find out, but that's one thing I personally don't like. And that's it, man. Other than that, um, I enjoy having figure service. I'm grandfathered in at the price point I'm at, so I'm not, I'm not going to switch it up. I'm going to keep my number and everything like that. I do think I want to pick up a separate other company and just kind of put them to their paces. But other than that, man, figures wireless communication is a dope company to go with I've had not so many issues I've named them all and it is what it is so so if you're looking for a nice phone to get a whole lot of bang for your buck you cannot go wrong with the fully loaded package from figures wireless uh, at figurescommunication.com I'll throw a link in the description so you can make the purchase man it's 550 bucks with that being said guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions about the service. If you have any more questions about the device, of course, I'm going to use this long term. I am going to switch and make this uh, my daily driver for a time, uh, which is going to kind of have to get used to again because um, I am spoiled by my OnePlus 7 Pro. But it has a uh, face unlock on this one. It has, should have a few features on here. So we're gonna, we'll make a great comparison with a device that's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the one I'm currently using. Until next time, guys, you know what it is.